it's a different feeling when you're actually uh, getting ready for this type of rep. It's not that it's less hard than playing Beethoven or any other classical. It's just probably for me, it's part of already in my DNA, this, all this rhythm. It's great to have Aldo here because uh, as you probably know, we grew up together in Cuba, but uh, I left very early on, I was 14. For me, it's a great, great pleasure. It's like a dream come true, playing with my brother and with these great musicians. Part of the Harlem Quartet is like very, very exciting for me. I was not expecting it to be this, this much of a blast and this easy of a working environment. The Harlem Quartet was founded uh, in 2006. We were actually put together by the Sphinx organization. Originally, we came together as a program and we simply were bringing classical music to schools in and around Harlem. And so we went to almost every school in Harlem. Oh we got into our repertoire some jazz tunes and it started with Take the A Train. So then when we would go to schools and kids had a tune that they recognized and could tap their foot or snap their fingers to, it really held their attention a lot longer. So we were then better able to grab their attention and show them that Mozart has the same excitement and Beethoven can have the same amount of fun. That's how we came to start doing jazz and classical. And it took us on a journey that's just been incredibly fun and very adventurous. actually known about Aldo since we've known about Ilmar. So we've been geographically separated and it's just amazing how we kept the same sort of parallel lives. We both have this ear for uh, creating uh, the sort of music that doesn't have boundaries of genres. Uh, by we both have the ear doesn't mean we both compose. Aldo composes. And, uh, and uh, it's just wonderful beyond worse to, to be able to collaborate professionally, to have him come to the United States, a place that was outside of any Cuban's uh, possibilities while the two countries were in disagreement. So now that this is possible, uh, we can actually focus on what really matters, which is the beauty of the music. As you can see, Ilmar and I, we have a very <laughs> close relationship, personally and musically, and uh, he has the good habit of um, rearranging every time we play <laughs> and rehearse uh, my music. by marinating with his spices on violin and bowing and fingering and sometimes even changing the, the structure of some, some passage. <laughs> <laughs> you must love that as a composer. <laughs> As long as it's for a, for a good reason and to a, for a better performance, of course I am. And especially if he's my brother. <laughs> Only he is allowed to do that, by the way. <laughs> I hope to be composing inspired by your sound, so. It's also nice to work with a composer who is open to letting things grow and just be how they're gonna be and not be completely stubborn to what's on the page. So although sometimes it's a challenge because what's on the page we used to do and all of a sudden we're not gonna do it that way and no one can say how it's gonna be done, but it actually keeps it really fresh and makes it fun to keep reintroducing these pieces to the audiences because for us, we're still, we're still growing with the piece, we're still letting it you know, have its way. You know, with all these rhythms and flavor, you know, that's what Aldo brings with the group. The extra spice that starts making Harlem Quartet different from other groups. Mm -hmm. 